everybody, hope you're having a great day. I just wanna make a quick video today on uh, commercial insurance and kind of give you some of the ins and outs on certain aspects of a, a business insurance policy. Uh, Liberty Mutual is one of the top carriers that we work with on the commercial side, um, helping business owners and really um, all industries uh, we help people in. Um, so I wanted to make a quick video today on monoline and cyber liability insurance, um, especially since a lot of people are working from home now and the amount of, of cyber crimes and the amount of uh, potential for cyber crimes is increasing. And so I just wanted to reach out and kind of give you some, some tips and um, ideas to talk to your current insurance broker about or agent, or give us a call for a, a quote and also um, to learn more as well. So Liberty Mutual, one of the, the top companies that we partner with, um, some of the industries that they're very competitive in are contractors. And so they uh, work, work really well with artisan contractors. So whether you specialize in just plumbing, um, you know, heating, electrical, painting, uh, things of that nature where you're specific to one aspect of contracting is where they're really competitive. Medical offices, so you know, dentists, um, orthodontists, things like that, professional services, if you're a real estate agent, um, and manufacturing, just to name a, a few of the industries that um, they, they are competitive in. And we help some clients and uh, their base minimum policy is $500. So some photographers and videographers and um, a couple other industries that we help, uh, some of their business policies have only been $500 a year. So definitely competitive there. Um, so if you are in any of these industries, you know, it's something that we can definitely help you out with in the future if you ever need help or I'm um, just looking for a quote or some guidance on, on your current policy. Um, so today, like I said, I wanna talk about monoline general liability and then cyber liability insurance. And so being a business owner, you know, you may not always need coverages for your property, uh, maybe for stopgap coverage. If you have employees, you know, there's some coverage that you don't always need, but you will always need a, a general liability policy. So, for example, a couple of weeks ago, um, helped a client who um, does um, excavation work and he has his personal property or, or his excavator covered through State Farm. Well, State Farm doesn't offer general liability coverage in that specific industry. So we were able to help him with the general liability policy and he kept his property policy there with State Farm. Um, good friends with the agent there and so it was a, a great relationship that we have to where we can help each other out. But something that you, know, you will come into is your current agent doesn't always offer um, everything that you need. And so knowing that you can just get certain policies with companies like Liberty Mutual um, is good to know. So as far as a monoline general liability, you know, it covers the liability uh, for your commercial business where that's all you need. Uh, some specific endorsements are condominiums, contractors, you know, food processors, garages, manufacturers, hotels, restaurants, uh, just to name a few. Um, and you, you can see those here on some of the industries. Um, so that's um, some of the ones that are covered there. Um, but yeah, if you have questions again, you know, obviously just let us know. We'd love to help you out. Um, so next thing you know, definitely want to talk about and bring awareness to is cyber liability uh, insurance. You know, when you think of cyber liability, it's obviously hackers. Um, we always, you know, have a rule of thumb of, you know, when people ask, well, why do I need cyber liability insurance? If you take anybody's information, payment information, name, date of birth, email address, you're taking anything, um, any type of information from your customers, you know, you're open to a cyber liability a breach and and, um, and hack. And so we really um, preach on that saying, hey, if you take anyone's info, you need a cyber liability policy. And the average claim for a breach was $673,767. And this was a study that was done here between 2012 to 2014, they took 160 liability insurance claims so obviously since then, you know, these, this number is higher. This is just to give you an idea of what these cost. Um, and this is from Insurance Journal where I get a lot of information from and I'll put the links in the description that you guys can um, take a look at if you'd like. But just to give you, a, you know, an idea of what the, general, the average claim is, I mean, that, that's a pretty big number. So when you sit there and think, oh, well, I have a general liability policy for a million dollars, I'm covered. You know, that, that's what I thought too before I actually looked into my policy at uh, Liberty Mutual. And to give you an idea of what is covered for cyber liability and data breach, you only have coverage, defense and liability up to $50,000 and computer attack for $50,000. So if you take 673,000 minus $50,000, you're still liable for $623,767. Now, unless you have that sitting in your bank account, um, you're probably gonna have to sell your business or you know, go bankrupt and, and sell out of your business. And unfortunately, about 60% of businesses do that when they are attacked from a, a cyber hacker. Um, and so that's something that, especially in the time right now with everyone working from home and just everything being online, I uh, just want to raise awareness to this topic as it's something that, you know, we're starting to see more and more. 
Um, so that's, you know, like I said, to give you an idea, that's generally what you have included in a liability policy. Now, every carrier may be different. Uh, this is just Liberty Mutual. But again, Liberty Mutual is one of the, the larger commercial insurance um, brokers and, and in companies. And, you know, if they're at $50,000, you know, quite a few other companies are there as well. Um, so it's a good idea to look at your current policy, talk to your agent, um, and just make sure you're covered properly. And a couple other um, aspects as well is, you know, obviously there's a cost to all, all insurance and all expenses when you're a business owner. Um, this is an, a report from insuron.com. Um, they say on average, the medium cost is about $140 a month. We, we got a quote for $600 per year through RPS, one of our non-standard um, companies that we go through. And that was for a million dollars in coverage. Now, over time, um, as you make more money and your company grows, uh, the amount of clients you have in your database, that'll change as well. Uh, but just to give you an idea of what an average policy is, a general rule of thumb, I'd say, is probably 90 to $100 a month, um, depending on where you're at in your business. So I'll, I will put this link in there as well. Um, and a quick topic you know, I wanted to cover, too, is you know, you'll see a lot of times, well, you'll have data breach and you'll have cyber liability. So what's the difference? And basically, data breach is the coverage that provides you know, expenses associated with notifying individuals that they have been hacked or their information has been compromised. That's really where the line is drawn with data breach. Um, it doesn't provide coverage to repair damages to the insurance computer, um, data, and or systems. And so that's where cyber liability comes in, is it gives you a little bit of both. So it gives you um, coverage for contacting individuals, um, but it also covers both the expenses to notify affected individuals of data breaches and the expenses to make the insured whole for their own damages incurred. So someone's information you know, is, is hacked or stolen, things like that. Cyber liability is what makes them whole along with notifying them. Um, so a, a good rule of thumb there to know the difference and which one you have in your policy. And keep in mind, too, on the cyber liability policy, you will have a million dollars that covers um, both. And uh, here's a, a quick article from Travelers as well. This kind of gives you some ideas of what are, what some um, companies have suffered as far as a claim in a, in a cyber liability attack. So this one right here was a construction company with offices nationwide. Now, granted, these are bigger uh, businesses. But at the same time, if you look at the numbers of how many customers they have in their database, you know, I know a lot of businesses that have four or 5,000 people in their database and, you know, they're not nationwide companies. You know, I look at our insurance agency, for example, and the amount of quotes that we do and internet leads and things like that that we buy. I mean, we have a database right now of probably 2,000, maybe 2,500 people, and that's just in our first year. And so over time, you can see as this grows and scales. So this company here, how many people did they have? 10,000 past and present customers that their company's data had been compromised. And so that's just a database of 10,000 people. And right here was the average claim, it was the claim that this um, company suffered. Total was 862,000. And it, it's kind of cool how it, how it breaks it down here of the costs that are associated. So this was the investigative costs of 181,000, estimated customer notification crisis management costs where they notified all 10,000 people, cost them 41,000. And then you have the defense and settlement costs. When the government starts stepping in, you have a six hundred thirty-nine thousand. So a total claim of eight hundred sixty-two thousand, you know, seven hundred seventy-five dollars. Which, take a look at here, an average event of this type could drive the average cost up to one point eight million dollars for a business. So if you take a look at this, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you see a lot of insurance companies talking about these coverages more and more, um, just because these claims are starting to happen, especially as people move to a more remote or virtual type setting. Um, this is a coverage that you want to definitely be mindful of. Um, so again, if you have any questions, you know, please let me know. I will attach all these links in the description. Um, you know, we're always here as a resource as well, but definitely want to make sure that you're covered properly and, and have adequate coverages for your business as, you know, being a business owner isn't, isn't the easiest thing. And, you know, I know you've, you've worked hard to get where you're at if, if you are a business owner or, or if you're looking to start a business. So um, appreciate you watching this and you know, hope you have a great day and stay safe out there. Thank you.